Was there a killer saber tooth tippo? Let's fossil it out. <laughs> giant saber-toothed hippo. Well, to quote Glenn Wolf's relationship status for 60 years, it's complicated. To find out the truth, we've got to be introduced to an animal that all well-versed, mature paleontologists refer to as Terminator pigs. These animals were some of the first to appear in a group called Artiodactyla, an order of even-toed ungulates, animals with hooves, which fit into the larger category of Sertiodactyla, with creatures like deer, camels, giraffes, and whales. Wait! Hold your horses! I actually let go of the horses because they're odd-toed undulates and completely unrelated to the topic at hand. So let's try this again. Whales? Yes, it's true. Satan's warthog is actually a closer relative of whales, or the group Cetacea, than to pigs. And they're also a part of the Cetancodont morpha clade, living relatives in the Whippomorpha clade, which also includes the Hippopotamidae family. <sighs> what are with these names? So hell yes, we did have giant saber-toothed hippos. I mean, technically the giant saber-toothed ancestor relatives of hippos, but still pretty cool. So let's meet these demon knot pigs. First off, the entelodonts. These massive mammals were pretty freaking successful, surviving from about 40 to 16 million years ago, roughly a 20 million year long reign on earth. For comparison, we've only been around about 1.5% of that time. All hail the hell pigs. They had these huge bony cheeks, which could have been used in fights between other intelligents or as anchors for their incredibly powerful jaws. They spread throughout what's now Europe, Asia, and North America. Though back in the Paleogene, these places were a bit closer together. Despite their monster under the bed appearance, <laughs> these animals were actually omnivores who mostly scavenged, but would sometimes hunt the ancestor of horses like Mesohippus. I'm sometimes in the mood for some nice fresh roadkill, but some days, Seabiscuit has to go. To give some examples of the different species of Entelodont, we first have Archaeotherium, living about 30 million years ago, and its bigger, badder cousin, Diodon, 10 million years after that. Even though they were inarguably enormous, these animals had elongated slender limbs that let them travel extremely fast and large olfactory lobes that gave them a keen sense of smell. Do not challenge one to a race. Now the other kind of animal I want to talk about today is closely related to intelligence, not really exactly part of the group, but this thing is just so freaking cool I had to include it with the rest of our saber-toothed hippos. Andrew Sarkis. Believe it or not, this particular ancestor of the bumbling hippopotamus was the largest meat-eating mammal to have ever lived. Let me say that again. The largest meat-eating mammal ever. This is the T-Rex of mammals. Or Spinosaurus, technically. So all you saber-toothed cat fans can suck it. It's not that difficult to believe when you remember that hippos kill more people than crocodiles every year. Andrew Sarkis was first found by a young paleontologist named Kan Chuan Pao in Mongolia when he pulled out a three-foot-long skull from the ground and, in my scientific opinion, probably screamed, Holy killer pig, what the heck is this? Though bigger than Diodon and Archaeotherium, at six feet high, twelve feet long, about the size of a horse, although this is an estimate, taking into account the that... The fossil record is incomplete! Sarkis actually lived a couple million years earlier than Diodon and Archaeotherium in the Eocene. Not all larger animals are more evolved. Like its relatives, however, this was an incredibly successful predator who hunted on hooves, like its descendants, sheeps and goats. It's truly a sheep in wolf's clothing, as Kenneth Branagh famously said in BBC's fabulous special Walking with Beasts, the underappreciated cousin of the best documentary in human history, Walking with Dinosaurs. <laughs> Every time I think of that show, a part of my soul cries with joy. So there you have it. A couple of killer pig, sheep, goat, whale hippos to brighten and stink up your day with their undoubtedly terrible breath. If you had fun during the video today, please like and subscribe and now enjoy my complete inability to pronounce scientific names. Satanka...
Satetica debacava, Satanca dantamorpha, Whipamorpha? Whipped cream. Wheat thins. Wheaty, wheaty, wheat thins, and whipped cream. I don't know how we're gonna get through this, buddy. Satanco dantamorpha, Hippopotamide, Hippopotamide, Hippopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopop